good evening. Thank you, everybody, for coming. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, I'm Rob Scott. I'm the, the, the uh, director for our navigation solutions business at Rockwell Collins. Um, <clears throat> so this is actually my first first event here. I've been in other parts of the business, and it's a pleasure to be around everyone here. And, and back to the spirit of, of innovation, uh, 40 years ago, Rockwell Collins celebrated the first receipt of a GPS signal and on the on the roof just after midnight uh, while an engineer was was uh, steering to, to follow the first GPS satellite coming through so since that time frame over the last 40 years we've developed 50 different receiver products uh, sold over a, over a million pieces of user equipment and <clears throat> have kind of continued to innovate the first one being the size six feet tall a two-person receiver all the way down to now 40 years later something one inch by by one and a quarter which is just far more capable so it's amazing to see how the the technology and the evolution is, has happened in the past and in that spirit moving forward and, and pushing frontiers we've announced our alliance agreement with kinetic going forward with our open service uh, receiver uh, that we're looking forward to also continue that in innovation and um, in the military market and we're going to continue with that offering um, a quality a, a delivery to, to, to the warfighter and uh, for for a critical infrastructure type applications so uh, the thank you everybody for, for coming here and uh, the satellite award right there. the satellite award goes to Wolfgang Petsch of the of OHB for his leadership in setting up the routine production of the Galileo satellites leading to the Galileo Constellation deployment, including the quadruple launch, the Ariane 5 launch in November 2016. Unfortunately, Wolfgang could not be here to accept the award in person, but he has delegated Paul Verhoff of the European Space Agency to do so on his behalf. I must admit I have uh, part of, I'm part of the fault that he is not here because uh, I keep him rather busy in uh, producing satellites. Um, he is currently uh, um, handling uh, uh, 22, 22 satellites uh, which he has had under, under contract. We are going to launch again in, uh, in December. You know if we've had a few, uh, a few problems which uh, I'm glad to, to say we have, uh, we have solved. Um, issues are, are behind us. In the Swiss clocks we have are, are working again, which is great. Um, so in Dece on December 12th we are going to launch. The first two satellites um, are in Kourou for that already. The next ones are going in, uh, in two weeks. And um, we're going to go up on an Ariane 5 again with four. Next summer we are doing another four. So it brings the whole constellation from 18 to uh, 26, um, and then we are fully operational. Um, life continues, as you know, in this business. It is, uh, it is quite a challenge to keep this up, and uh, I think OHB, uh, with Wolfgang in the lead, has done uh, very well uh, in the last years to uh, set up, indeed, an impressive uh, production line and uh, keep all of the machinery um, ticking over. Um, it has been a big challenge for them. They were a, a relatively small player in the space business and uh, not only because of this, they have been able to win a number, a number of other competitions in other areas. OHB has been doing uh, very well. And we are glad, of course, that they've been doing well because uh, you know, it, is, uh, it, it, was, it was important to get, uh, to get Galileo up and running. So what are the challenges for us for the next years? Um, we are currently working with the colleagues from the Commission and the GSA on, um, on what the next constellations are going to have to do. Obviously, there is a lot of pressure for, uh, for further innovation, for further uh, improvements. Um, the user community over the last years have become much more um, outspoken about what they want and what they expect, which is, uh, which is nice. And obviously, this needs to be matched uh, with uh, having to take care of the, of the legacy users. Um, uh, having to see what the technology can uh, can uh, allow us to do is, and at the end of the day, there is a small thing con called budget, which uh, which needs to uh, have its play in this in these things. In any case, the plan is that by the end of the year, we will start the procurement of uh, of the next batch of satellites. This will take a while to do this procurement, um, but then we are going to go for. Um, um, for the next constellation. So in between, OHB has managed to win another contract. 
good for them. Um, we are about to give them already the first options on that contract, so we will have a total of uh, 14 satellites under contract with him in addition to the 22 they've done. Um, these uh, satellites will uh, complete uh, further the constellation and they will already start uh, replacing the first IOV satellites which uh, we have put up. So you see the cycle is, uh, is, rather, is rather quick. Of course we, we are waiting a bit to see what the real lifetime of the satellites is going to be. We don't know that yet, uh, but we will find out in the next, uh, in the next couple of years. So let me uh, finish by uh, uh, giving a tribute to, uh, to Wolfgang and his team. It has been a real uh, challenge for them. I know that he uh, was uh, not only uh, amazed, but uh, uh, after that uh, pretty uh, proud of, uh, of the price he has gotten. And I will carefully uh, carry this back to Europe and, uh, and give it to him, uh, Alan. Thank you very much.